is the newest surprise and addition to the A1A Adventures Fish Fam. The behavior of the fish, do enjoy this. Let's get to the main fish. The featured creature of this vlog is none other A1A fam, welcome back to another A1A adventure. An aquarium vlog which I'm sure we will all admire because this one has been a long awaited addition to our fish tanks and we've been wanting to add an awesome, cool, different type of fish for a long time. This one particularly is not a freshwater creature. This one is a saltwater. So enough with the long overdue, let's get to it. As you know our epic coral tank is an aquarium in addition to our planted freshwater tank. But what you are about to see, oh, let's hit the lights first, is the newest surprise and addition to the A1A Adventures Fish Fam. And no, not you, Mr. Clown, you've been here for a while now. Yes, I'm sorry to say, but you are also a very appreciated fish here at A1A. But let's get to the main fish, the featured creature of this vlog is none other than a, what? An urchin, well, it does resemble that urchin. However, no, it's not the urchin. That urchin has been in this tank as well as, I'm sure you've seen it in several other vlogs, but come on, let's get to it. It's this, a baby porcupine puffer fish named Wonton. Look at that face. It's a baby porcupine puffer. Now, Wonton is pretty much, well, losing its home now a little bit. I just went ahead and fed it a little bit of octopus tentacles and dropped the octopus right on top. I think that's a piece. Is that a piece over there? No. Um, well, there's a lot to explain here. So we've been wanting a puffer fish for a while. As you've seen, we've had several other puffer fish in the, in the past. Uh, they were smaller puffer fish. They were not a porcupine puffer. This right here is a 35 gallon. So it has a lot of space in here compared to its size. You can see back there on the upper left corner. It is, I mean, this is equivalent to a full grown puffer being in at least 120 gallon. It's huge. So this baby little puffer is feeding on several different types of crustaceans. And we'll go ahead and get into the food diet that we've been supplying for this fish in the past week that we've had it. So this has actually overtaken its home. It's funny because I was like, when is this porcupine puffer going to think that this is either a mate or that it's another puffer fish? Because we have two of them in here in addition to a pencil urchin. And we left the goby. The goby is somewhere. So we have several hermit crabs. We have a couple snails, which naturally we know that those Two different in shelled creatures are at risk of being eaten by this predator little puffer fish here as it grows older because we've been seeing it has been voraciously picking on, oh, there's one right there. There is a snail right there. There is a hermit crab right there. There is another snail over there. And oh, there's the goby. So the goby came out just to kind of hang out and see what's going on as it always does but it's very common docile. The clownfish actually has tamed down. I made the PVC piping a little bit bigger so it can go ahead and have a little more space. It used to have that tiny little one back there, but it outgrew it. So now we have a larger PVC pipe and I also implemented and innovated one of the magnet cleaners here and glued the same exact size of this PVC that the clownfish has to the magnet, which is normally just to obviously clean the sides of the tank with the mag float. And it seemed to do really well. It seemed to supply a good amount of space structure. They love structure. So when it comes to having an area where they can hide, feel safe and kind of you know, feel secure if they need to, away from other fish that they may feel threatened against. I mean, it has it. Obviously, that's not the case in this tank. There is nothing that is out to get it. Uh, basically, this fish here is going to be the king of this tank. So we basically have to worry about all the other fish. Look at that face. Every time I look at the face, I'm just like, oh, goodness, look at that. Here, let's actually, let's kick on the other light we have. 
because we have a better light that actually suits a little more of a reef style lighting and illumination. However, there is no coral in this tank. This is the only creature right now being featured as the highlight of this tank. So let's go ahead and hit that light on. Time to shut this one. And there we go. So it's actually one of the older coral lights that we have, the spectral light that we're using on this now, just to go ahead and add a little more of an accent to it. Also, I have noticed the behavior of the fish do enjoy this a little better because it does create more of a illuminated center. Okay, now we can see it a little better. I turned off all the other lights in the room. So yes, an illuminated center and it does create shady spots on the corners. So if it wants to hide up here and stay away from all of the other illuminated areas, if it just wants to hide and it definitely, definitely creeps around these rocks all day long and it looks for food. It's, it's hunting. It's, it's doing its natural instinctful habits of looking for food. So let me, since we're on that food subject, let's go ahead and look at the food and I'll explain why I chose the food that I chose for the specific fish right here. Where are you? Wonton. Wonton. Look at you. Loving this fish. And it has been eating. So I'm happy. So let's get to the food, Wonton. Just not you. We're not we're not eating wontons today. So this seafood mix has calamari, clams, octopus, and shrimp. And yes, that seems to cover the entire diet for this fish. It's excellent. A one-stop shop, one product that you could just chop up and feed to your puffer fish. So in addition to this light, which is more of the evening setting, which it looks really nice at night, but when we do want to see everything, I do also turn on the standard light as well. So I just did a massive tank cleaning to make this tank nice and purdy. And I also added a nice foam fixture on the back end of the filter intake so it's not going to you know put this fish at any risk this is really new though i'm very surprised that this urchin made it all the way up here in about three minutes because it was not here right as i was setting up the camera to film this vlog so that really hustled to get all the way up there but in the future vlogs we are going to do a lot more detailed feedings and document the journey a little bit more of our first porcupine puffer fish owning it. And not to mention, we do have a 200 watt heater in this tank, so it does keep it nice and warm to keep it, you know, moderately temperature, nice and warm, keeps all bad parasites and ick away. So hopefully just the acclimation of this fish will go well. Uh, of course, you know, I love my animals, so when it comes down to the proper care and everything else with these fish, I do stress over it. I'm probably more stressed out than this fish is, just to make sure everything goes well. If you do have a puffer fish, comment below on what the puffer fish likes to eat and what your experience has been owning a puffer fish. The water is stagnant right now, as you notice, because I did unplug the filtration for this vlog, so we can get a nice little steady look at the puffer fish. And that's it. So this is Wonton ladies and gents and everybody else. So we really hope you enjoyed this. If you could like this video, that would be awesome for shy little wonton back there hiding behind the camera everywhere we go. See, definitely does hide because it doesn't recognize this camera. Some of the fish we have here do not like this camera. That's okay, we like it. Uh, it's kind of just a part of it because we do need to film you. Your fans do want to see you. Let's see, where are you? Oh, there you go. What a beautiful shot of wonton. Oh, wonton. The adventures we have ahead for you and your fans. So if you like pufferfish, if you do like porcupine pufferfish, make sure to comment below if you think this name was appropriate for wonton, or if you even have any other names that you would name this fish if this fish was yours. So thank you so much for watching this vlog and this introduction of our newest addition to A1A Adventures. Everybody, welcome wonton. Until the next one. Everyone, stay adventurous. A1A Adventures.